Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome on board. Amongst all the airports in the world, very few selected ones qualify to be challenging and dangerous in terms of flight operations. Paro International Airport in Bhutan is one of them. Its elevation is 7,332 feet, surrounded by mountains that goes as high as 16 to 18,000 feet. Flying there takes a lot of experience. The Airbus 319 and also the Boeing 737 are amongst the ones certified to operate. These days, however, only two airlines fly there, the Truck Air and the Bhutan Airlines, and both fly Airbus 319s. And right now, there are only about two dozen pilots qualified for Paro. Respect. And with Microsoft Flight Simulator, we can experience the thrill of approach and landing into Paro. There's one video on YouTube that beautifully explains in detail how to go about with the landing. I've put the link in the description. And I thought, why not push it up by a notch and try my favorite, the mighty 747 Jumbo Jet. So here's the walkthrough. We'll be flying from Calcutta to Paro. And the idea is to reach the Paro VOR at 13,500 feet. And from there on, it's got to be visual or else there's no point continuing. So after crossing the VOR, we'll fly northwest towards the airport overhead and descend to 11,500 feet. And after crossing the airport and reaching a beam, the first peak on the left, we turn left towards this gorge. And at the nick of time, we do a descending right turn all the way to align ourselves with this river, the Paro Chu River. And the idea is to maintain 140 knots during the turn and then we fly towards that monastery before turning right and aligning ourselves to land. So we are in the 747-8, already at 13,500 feet approaching the power of VOR. From there we'll turn left towards the airport. In this aircraft, I'll have to configure the landing gear and flaps well in time or else we can't slow down enough as a, as a huge airplane. So let's get the gear down and further extend flaps and also descend down to 12,500 and there's the runway. After reaching a beam this hill, uh, we'll turn left towards the gorge. All right, switch into manual now. Okay, I'm turning right now and we'll try to keep the speed of 140 knots.
There's the power road to the river. A bit high, so using speed brakes. And that's the monastery. And as the runway over there. Okay, the last turn doesn't have to be harsh, and just a little bit to align ourselves. Touchdown, speed breaks up. Reverse is normal. Sixty knots and unreverse. So there we made it. Hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.